If you guys want a full collection video of me taking the money out of every machine again and possibly giving away all the money that the machines make on YouTube to one of you guys that are watching this video, smash the like button. What's going on guys? Aaron Hips here. Let me... There we go. What's going on guys? Aaron Hips here and today we got a brand new video for you. I am actually going to film at one of my arcades that I don't film much at. It's going to be at the Mall of Monroe. Guys, if you guys ever want to go check out any of my arcades, they're in the description down below and uh, as the address for the city, the mall they're in, or uh, other locations as well. So check it out. Link in the description down below. So I uh, deal with break-ins a lot and I just kind of got to the point where I stopped putting them up on YouTube because I felt like they were happening because I was filming them and putting them up on YouTube and people knew that it would get them attention and my arcades were losing far more money than what the videos were making of me uploading them if that makes any sense hey I'm, I'm filming a video if you can just, just so we're gonna go check it out because this isn't a break-in this is different um, I had a bunch of machines that were rearranged and I, I, I don't know security text me pictures and this is what my equipment kind of looked like scattered around my arcade and so this was like two days ago so I'm actually now just getting around to it so anyways we're gonna go to the Mall of Monroe and check out and see what the heck is going on with my machines. Let's go. So, last stop before we go to my arcade, I gotta drop off some license papers um, for the next year. Renew all the licenses for all my arcades. And so this month I'm doing the Mall of Monroe and next month I'm doing the rest of my arcades. So that should be cool, we're almost there. I gotta turn here. So, yep, yep, I'll see you guys there. So we are now inside of the Mall of Monroe Arcade. Here we go. Um, first of all, I want to address my change machine is out of order, which the light is blinking, meaning it is empty, which is good. So that means uh, the arcade did really well this week. There's a light bulb in here that I got to replace, so we're going to replace that while we're here. There's a light bulb out in here that we need to replace that I don't have one for, so... Just goes to show you, you can't leave an arcade like this for more than a week, and then just stuff starts happening. This one's empty, gonna need to put more in here. And then this is what I'm talking about, and we're gonna go look at the security cameras. This is completely moved out of place. This machine is not supposed to be moved like this. Let me show you how it's supposed to be moved. There we go. That looks way better. That actually needs to be moved back even more, which I'm going to do, but I'm actually going to be remodeling this entire arcade here actually very soon, and uh, this machine's actually going to be going, because just, it just doesn't fit the rest of them. So this machine's going, and these two machines are actually leaving too, and we're adding more stuff. So before we go look at the security footage, I thought you guys might like to see what the arcade made. It's been about four or five days since I've been here, so let's check it out. Oh yeah, she is empty. I mean, there's some like straight quarters on top, but there you go, yeah, she is, whoo! And look at all that cash, guys. Oh yeah, there's some fives, tens, and twenties in there. Oh yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, let's go. Look at that, there's a 20. And just like that, I filled it up just a little bit. I had a bag of quarters that I brought in with me. Filled it up maybe a, just over a quarter of the way. Take this out of order sign and throw it away. I hate when they put out of order signs on my machines when they're actually not broken. And see, the thing too is they put these out of order signs on them and it's not like the machine won't take money. This turns off. This turns off when there's anything less than $40 inside of here. So once the machine, so the quarters are kind of on like a weight scale almost. And once that weight gets to a certain amount, which is about $40 in quarters inside of here, this automatically turns off and turns this red light on. Having an out of order sign on it just doesn't really make make the arcade look good. It makes look it makes the machine look like it's broken, which in a sense it is. I mean, you guys can argue it, but anyways, let's put this back in here. There we go. Fill it up with some more quarters in just a little bit. The machine right here doesn't have a bucket in it, but there's definitely some quarters in here. This is a five-day collection here, and then uh, the bills, obviously. I mean, there's not a lot, but I mean, there's some. Over here, I just took the lock off of it. Let's see what the UFO catcher did. One side has Lucky Cups, and one side has these guys. Let's see. All right, 
Not bad, not bad. Oh yeah, there we go, baby. If you guys want a full collection video of me taking the money out of every machine again and possibly giving away all the money that the machines make on YouTube to one of you guys that are watching this video, smash the like button. All right, guys, next we're gonna actually check out Keymaster here. I already, um, I, it, I can't unlock it while holding the camera at the same time, so I have to unlock it first. Let's check it out here. Looks like all my prizes are still in there. Guys, look at I did all these LED lights on the side too. What do you think of that? That's custom. All right, let's see, dollars. Hey, there we go. Yeah, Keymaster is one of my best machines, guys, so not bad for five days. All right, next. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo! So I'm going to leave all the dollars in all the machines that I have here. The only reason I'm leaving the dollars and taking the quarters is because I only take the dollars out once every week, week and a half-ish. And I just took them out like five days ago, so I'm going to let it build up a little bit. But the quarters I take out almost every time I come here just because I need to refill the change machine. I know a lot of people are going to be like, hey, where's the bucket for it? It got stolen. Someone broke into this machine. As you can see, someone used a hacksaw drill and drilled into my locks here. Yep, so had to replace the lock. A lot of the time, this light bulb's been actually acting up. I don't know if it's burnt out or if... Oh, oh. Oh, I broke it! No! Ah, oh, now I gotta replace it. Good thing I got more down here. A rookie mistake. I went to go put the light bulb in and I like turned it way too much and then I broke it. It wasn't broken, it was just loose. The problem though is these light bulbs are always giving me problems, so it's a good thing I have the new ones anyways and they're LED ones, so they're nice and bright and white. That all rhymed, just like that one. So let's put one in. Ta-da! Wait, what? That's not... That's not white! Ah, uh, what? So I got an idea. This is the white light bulb that was actually inside of here. And I'm gonna take this light bulb, I'm gonna take that light bulb that is right there, and I'm actually gonna be replacing it with this one in here, so that the ones in the other machines will match. I know these ones will match. How many YouTubers does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm doing it with one hand. Let's see. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Ta da! Look at that. The machine's working now. Let me know in the comments if this is boring you. <laughs> hey guys, watch me screw in a light bulb! Okay, this one doesn't fit. Or does it? Oh, there it goes. Wow, that one's that one's really bright. Holy cow, well hey, that looks good. Look at that. All right, so we're in my back room now. All right, so we're at my security cameras now, and uh, this is actually the footage of what happened over here. Now, at the beginning of the video, if you were paying attention, you would notice that I said that all my machines were moved around. If you guys come into my arcades, you guys are on camera, so don't do anything stupid, because chances are I'm gonna get these people's faces ID, I'm going to take it up to the office, and they are no longer allowed in the mall. That's what's gonna end up happening here, so I'm gonna fast forward here to when they walked in. My punching bag game right here is directly behind the claw machine, or in front, or however you want to say it. A lot of people complain and complain and bellyache. They're like, oh man, this punching bag, let me show you. Punching bag is right here. I get a lot of complaints from people saying, hey, I can't throw my arm all the way back to punch because there's glass right here. You know, I kind of get what they're saying, and I understand it's frustrating because you can't put your arm as far back as you would want. When I used to have the punching bag right here, smack dab in the middle of all these machines, and these were moved over, I was getting people that were running in from the mall all the way into my arcade and jumping up and kicking it with their feet. Or what they were do is running all the way back here and running up and punching it and they were hitting it so hard it wasn't breaking the machine but all the other store tenants were complaining the machine was getting hit so hard it was getting moved out of place like it was actually moving like I would come in and be like crooked and stuff people were hurting themselves on it and trying to sue me so just for that last reason 
is mainly why I got rid of having it where it was. So this guy gets the bright idea. He's like, oh, I'm gonna show my girlfriend how hard I can hit this, but I'm gonna have to move the machine first. Now, so this guy's like, hey, babe, um, I'm gonna show you how hard I can hit this punching bag, but just to show you how masculine I am, I have to move it because I have to have a forward thrust running motion to do it. So I'm gonna move this $10,000 worth of vending equipment in this little square here, possibly breaking it, not like I care, because I'm just gonna go back and work my normal McDonald's job anyways, not like I have actually make enough money to fix it if I break it. I I'm gonna try to impress my girlfriend here, or maybe that's his aunt, I don't know, maybe his aunt is like really hot. So we're gonna move this other machine, and, and it might be smart if you unlock the wheels first, it would it would roll a lot easier. I'm like, like buddy, that machine's tiny, and, and you can obviously see he's banging these machines around pretty well, trying to get them to move. Dude, this guy literally Oh my gosh. So anyways, yeah, do you have the money? Okay, well, I mean at least at, at least he gave me business guys, right? I mean, let's let's look at the positive in this situation, right? Oh wait, how do I use it? Okay, what do, what do I gotta do? Oh, I, I'm gonna film it for TikTok because that's what all the cool kids are doing these days are vandalizing arcades, right? Or no, I forgot, we're punching the bag, not we're don't don't film this part of me vandalizing the arcade. Just 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 film the TikTok of me hitting the bag. Alright, so first of all, there's a uh, blue blinking button up here that says press for bag to go down and he obviously is blind and can't see that he's staring at it like he probably stares at his college papers but hey babe 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 hey uh can you film it for my tiktok too because i want to show everyone how hard i can hit this punching bag all right here i go oh man i'm gonna move the machine a little bit more and, oh oh my goodness i don't know what score he got it looks like he got a 516, which is really hard to tell, but that's actually kind of weak, buddy. I, I think I can actually hit harder than that. I can tell you that moving them with the wheels locked and yanking them around like that probably isn't going to break them. Be like, oh, I don't really care. I just care about hitting this for my Snapchat for all my friends that I probably won't have when I get out of college because they'll get actual lives. All right, we're going to move this punching bag a little bit because it's really expensive. Oh, and the bag came down and almost hit him in the face. <laughs> oh, man. All right, here we go. And what a score did he get? He hit it and I can't tell what he got. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can. He got a 500. All right, you know what? I've seen enough. <laughs> Remember, he had to move the punching bag in order to get the score he did. Look, it, if you're actually gonna fight someone, you need to just be able to punch them standing right there. I'm gonna do it while holding a camera. And let's see what we get. Oh, buddy. Oh, I totally passed your score. It's too bad his girlfriend isn't standing here. I probably would have swiped her off her feet. All right, let's hit it again. Wow, and look at that. I didn't have to vandalize the machine. I didn't have to move all of them. Here we go. Oh man, oh, buddy, look at I already passed your score. I think the best part about this whole thing is if we fast forward here a couple minutes. Oh man, let me just show all my friends how hard I hit this thing. Oh man, I almost hit it as hard as I hit my jewel at school thinking I'm the coolest person around. Gosh damn dude. That sounds like a good idea, Let, let's just go. You know, I want to note too, this guy is honestly super dumb because if someone went behind here, there's a bunch of electrical wires and outlets all behind here and he left that wide open exposed for someone or a little kid to walk back Back there and electrocute themselves and if something happened to them the machines were like that I could have been sued like literally but d don't worry it doesn't matter to them because he's just gonna go do his college papers man dude and then let me see this is when security comes in oh man security came in here we go they're like what the heck happened here and then what security did is moved it all back to normally how it's supposed to be there it is so anyways that's about it guys I I just wanted to share this one because um, I thought it was really interesting it's supposed to look like this they made it look like this and then security tried to fix it and make it look like this which security definitely did a good job thank you guys all for everyone at the mall Monroe. i know a couple of the security guys at the mall here work so thank you guys you guys are always looking out for the arcade and doing your best interest and thanks for trying to put it back together the best you possibly could so yeah that's gonna be about it for this video guys if you guys want a pulling cash video from any of my arcades make sure you smash that like button subscribe if you're not i'll see you guys next time